That was our breakout hit. Uh, my name's Jeff. Um, this is my vehicle. It's a 2004 Mitsubishi Delica. I imported from Japan. Right wheel or right hand drive. And uh, fed it for about a year. And yeah, um, I got into van lifing in 2013. Um, like a lot of people, I just couldn't really afford rent anymore. and. Thought I'd give it a shot. And also my grandfather lived in uh, Westphalia, so he would come and visit us when I was younger and I thought that was really cool. So it just kind of all combined together and I've kind of floated in between a place in between them once in a while, but mostly in a van. So yeah. So I've lived in a I've lived in a Delica, in an old diesel Delica, in a in a tiny key van. Uh, Japanese key van, the 660 cylinder ones, the little baby ones. I've lived in a Toyota Matrix. I've lived in a Hyundai or a Hyundai, um, I can't remember what they're called, little hatchback. Um, I've lived in a couple of cars and then now we're in this one right now. Well, I do, Nadia doesn't. Um, we're just on the trip right now. And how often does that kayak come down? Uh, not often. Nadia thinks I don't even use it. I think in a relationship I've used it twice. Use a I'm a poser. <laughs> it's just for aesthetics. It's just for aesthetics. Aerodynamics. Yeah, 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 aerodynamics, yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I don't use it as much as I'd like to. Um, it's made on Vancouver Island. Uh, yeah. This, this whole trip, so, okay, the preamble to that was for years I've been wanting to go to Mexico for the winters, um, just for mental health. I've just found being in the in the Northwest really hard, um, just too much rain, too much cold. So uh, the idea of going to Mexico kept coming up and then this year it finally did it. Uh, but it was kind of a last minute thing and, uh, and didn't have any solar installed, didn't have any batteries installed. So just had the idea of finding something on the road and um, Came, out, came into the Blue Eddy kit, um, which uh, it's 500 watt hour battery plus 120 watt solar panel foldable kit thing. And um, we had mounted on different parts on the van. And then a couple days ago, as it was flapping in the wind, just stopped working. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> So we found out, thanks to Paul, that this panel is completely dead. So Paul tested all the connections, helped us do a custom... A little tape yeah, in it. Yeah, if it. anyone wants to buy a, a custom... <laughs> Slightly used, slightly, gently slightly used. <laughs> gently used, well cared for. Um, At least 75% capacity. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so just by process of elimination, found out that this panel was dead, and then just made a jumper connection from here over to here, and uh, yeah, it's working again. Now you're getting what, 50 watts? On a good day. Yeah, I built this myself. Oh, here I should like I should do it right. It doesn't. The, all of the vi so there's all these cool videos about people making these beds, and they make every single one had the wrong measurements, the wrong screws. Like they did it, and then I saw like I, I saw what they were doing, but then the, the the way that they described it 
it wasn't the same as what they actually did. Like, man, I, I lost track of how many I looked at trying to copy it. Um, and I, I had to just do it on my own. Like the general idea of it worked, but man, I did so many, like, they cut, what, measure twice, cut five times. Yeah. Yeah, that's the true but way to do it. Eventually, did it with a little thing underneath, um, so it doesn't it doesn't fall up. But I couldn't figure out how to keep it from falling down. Oh, you actually have some so, real wood in there. Are those all just plywood? Uh, it's I don't. It's it, like a spruce. Whatever the cheapest two by two is. I have to like pull it up and actually get it all the way in. Uh, What's the hole for? The hole. That's the glory hole there. Is that a drawer? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, what kind of games do you guys play? Let's get in the box. <laughs> yeah, we play get in the box. Yes. Uh. Where'd you get this guy? I made it. You made it? Wow. Yeah. You, and you stained it and everything? Yeah, man. Thanks, dude. I like. So, like a minwax? I like your. I like your. Your the inflection on your yeah, like I did a good job. Wow. The best part though is this. Yeah. This, this little cover. Oh, I like show and tells. Here. Yeah, so I I did it and sanded it and um, couldn't figure out how to do this drawer. Uh, so it only opens this far. <laughs> oh, okay. So. And it's very functional. <laughs> By very functional meaning not. At all. Meaning random stuff ends up there, like, then I go crazy trying to find the stuff. Yeah, like our frying pan. And stuff is always falling out of it. And our is that flat? Is that iron? It looks like it? it's 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 bent. Oh, it's it's like a scottle it's, shape. Yeah, it's multi-shaped. Oh. Um, yeah, we keep this in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, is it expired or does that one still work? Because uh, they do have a shelf life. It, it's work. It looks like it'll work. Green means it works. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the desk. See when the fire starts. <laughs> and and I have not oh, fixed it. So it's a float. It's, it's a floating, a floating desk. This is basically the decapitator in the van. Oh right. So you don't want to. Yeah. yeah. If we roll, our heads roll. That goes straight to the front. Yeah. yeah. That was another do on the road project. I have. Um, so th th I took out all of the seat belts and on the bottom. They have a mounting point for this, so I was gonna basically just drill it instead of like doing stuff through the floor, just do it into the side in the, the seat belt mounting points already. I this was this was really stressful making, um, but it, but it, like one of those things going through it that when I finally did it, um, it just felt really good. Oh, Lego guy is he's got a wrench, yeah, man. I used to want to watch my dad fix because he was he had, we had a garage and he would always fix cars and he was always in there. So as a as a kid, I would go hang out with him and um, just wanting to learn, wanting to watch. And he used to yell at me every time I'd go in there, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> so anyway, so Lego guy is the is my archetype. So at different times, he used to have a motorcycle helmet. So when I got into motorcycles, he came along on all my trips to that. And then I got into fixing cars. Uh, sometimes he got a little rich. So yeah, what's your what's your band called? Uh, our band is called Summer Awake. It's a spinoff of a band called Winter Sleep. So we're trying to do our own thing. <laughs> and what's your uh, your breakout song? Our breakout song is called. What is it called? What? John? Isn't it John's well, it was John's bed. Yeah. But but the breakout song is... Jesus is squatting in my heart? Yeah. Our breakout song is called Jesus is squatting in our heart. <laughs> what's, that, what's that sound like? We haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a chant though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely a chant. Well, okay, so the, the central premise behind it is just kind of like making fun of of how everyone talks about how Jesus lives in your heart and and uh, we've had our own relationship with religion but we actually think that Jesus is a really cool guy so he can so in squat the end, in he our can heart stay. yeah <laughs> Thank you.
It makes it even better that it's slightly out of tune. That's amazing. <laughs>